FileMaker Go 13 includes enhancements that are specific to gesture controls for the iPad and iPhone. FileMaker Go 13 allows users to navigate between records in form view by using a two-finger swipe. This provides a more intuitive interface for users to navigate through their data. As you can see, this works really well. New to the FileMaker platform are slide controls. These are user interface elements or layout objects that will be familiar to people who frequently visit modern designed websites. Even the FileMaker.com website makes use of slide controls as you can see here. In FileMaker Go, users can navigate between slide panels by using a single finger swipe. Here I have another solution with a project screen and I want to manage a set of digital documents typically contracts or some other critical scan document that's part of the project. As you can see the new swipe gesture supports animation for both smooth visual transitions when changing records or sliding to the next panel. Now a bit deeper under the hood for FileMaker Go 13 is the ability to capture the taps that users make on the device and activate scripts to carry out specific tasks. The ability to have FileMaker Go activate a script by watching for taps is completely new in FileMaker Go 13. To set this up, we make use of the On Gesture Tap script trigger, which we can attach to any layout. Once we capture the tap, we can then evaluate the situation. In this scenario, I have decided that my sales team makes new invoices all the time and they need a fast shortcut to create a new invoice. Well, with this script step right here, I look to see if FileMaker Go saw one tap or two and how many fingers were used. Now since all I care about is acting upon a three finger single tap, anything else I'll ignore and I'll let FileMaker continue to operate. I let FileMaker continue on its merry way by using this exit script step command right here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my iPad and I'm going to do a triple tap. And there you go, I have a new record. Now it's important to note that FileMaker makes a distinction between swipes and taps. Swipes are reserved for navigating between records and between slide panels. FileMaker Go lets us capture only taps and direct them to our own custom scripts. So while this seems obvious now, don't let these two different gestures confuse you. They are handled differently in FileMaker Go. As you can see, FileMaker Go 13 adds new capabilities to take advantage of iOS specific features. While FileMaker Go already supported features like integrated camera and signature capture, FileMaker Go 13 improves support for swipe and tap gestures while adding support for barcode scanning.